Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be building an SR-71 in Trailmakers, and I'm really excited for this because I'm going to be utilizing the rocket engine. Let's get into it. So honestly, this aircraft is probably one of the most unique aircrafts I've ever seen. It is really, really cool indeed. But I'm just thinking for the shape, I can just build out the frame very quickly. And I think to do that, I should use wedges, right? Yeah, so I can just use wedges to kind of round out that like very unique nose shape. And let's just see where it leads us. I can't lie to you guys, this is probably one of the more um, unusual shapes that I've had to create in Trailmakers. But I think we're somewhat getting there. Definitely helps that I'm using a reference image. I'm also worried that this is going to be very nose heavy and just not produce enough lift. Okay, so far so good. Looking pretty nice. So now I can get to work on those two massive rocket engines. I can just stick one of those in place for now and uh, try and make it look decent somewhat. I think that's the best I can do, honestly. The aerodynamics on these are not gonna be very good, but I mean, at least it looks like the engines. All I really gotta do now is the, like the wing tips. Okay, so here it is, the SR-71. I'm just gonna make sure I have everything evenly on each side. So yeah, okay, all right, yeah, that checks out. So this is basically the frame of the SR-71. It's not the most complex thing I know, but uh, the reason being is I want this to be super, super light, as light as possible. And I'm gonna put so many thrusters inside this thing. That's why you see all this empty space because the plan is to have this go extremely fast. So all we need now is a seat. I'm gonna put the seat somewhere in here. I need to turn on my forces because I really want to see where my center of mass is. That is way back there okay well it looks like i'm putting a seat right at the back here like that and then i can also do the underbelly okay let's just give it a quick test with only the two rocket engines i want to see how this thing feels yikes <laughs> it does not have any lift and also i noticed a few problems uh these are actually upside down so hopefully I can get a little bit more lift now if we try again. Oh, there you go. Oh my god, I just remembered. This thing has basically no vertical stabilizer. Okay, so I looked at the image again. It does have vertical stabilizers. Um, but they're on the engines. That's why I missed them. <laughs> they're, they're actually right here, which is a very convenient spot to put them. Okay, there you go. That's what was missing. Well, I've just added some landing gear, and those actually look very good. Quite simple uh, to do, but uh, obviously we have the wheels glitching through the wing there. But the whole thing's going to be painted black, so I don't think that's going to be too much of an issue. But at least we got landing gear. Now it's for the exciting part. Putting as many engines as we can inside this thing to get maximum power. And also, I'm going to make sure I disable all the smoke on these dragon engines. How many can we fit in there? I think I just fit in quite a few. Wait, would the space thrusters be more efficient? Because I could fit more of them, right? Yep, I think we're going with space thrusters. <laughs> By having just a little bar in between all of these engines, I can fit way more than I can with the dragon jets. All right, cool. <laughs> that seems like a lot of power now. So let's give this thing a quick test. Holy smokes. Wow. This is fast, guys. This is very fast. Not quite sound breaking. <laughs> I also want to make this thing way more faster on the acceleration. And to do that, I'm going to use a little logic trick. What I'm actually going to do is put a distance sensor inside of this thing and hook it up to all of the engines. And then if I just change the output scale, 0 0.02, this should mean that the engines are technically on and the ramp up for the acceleration should be already done by now. So as soon as I hit the throttle, it's gonna be instant speed. Let's give it a test. Three, two, one. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh my god, okay, we just crashed. But yes, you saw that effect, right, guys? 
That was crazy. So if I just give it a couple seconds to ramp up, we should be able to do the instant acceleration. Holy smokes. There we go. Wow. We did it. <laughs> well, it seems all I really have to do now is optimize all of my controls and give this thing a paint job. All right, guys, here she is. It's finished. It is painted looking very, very nice, I must say. And I have also took the time to zero drag this thing. And that means I should be able to get a more optimized speed. So let's go. And before I go, there's like a floating barrel over there. <laughs> let's just do this. Three, two, one. Holy smokes! Oh, we are way faster with the zero drag. This is the first time I'm testing this, by the way. 600 miles per hour. I don't think I'm quite fast enough to get to mock. I mean, probably. I think it's possible on a dive. Let's try and get some altitude here. I absolutely love this thing. It's so simple, yet so cool looking. All right, let's just go up and up and up. All right, that seems pretty sufficient to me. So let's just go in for the dive. All right, let's see if we can break sound. Come on. No, come on. No. <laughs> Okay, probably not. But as far as the instant, like, boosters, that was the main goal for today with this. I just want to see this in action. Is that, Can I get a better camera? Here we go. Helicopter chase. Three, two, one. Instant speed. There you go. Uh, that's exactly what I'm looking for. <laughs> this is too cool, man. Also, whilst I've been away, they've added a Christmas island here, which is pretty cool looking. I swear we can do some good Christmas videos on uh, on this new island here on Danger Zone. But this thing is so dope. This feels so nice to fly too. It's surprisingly really easy to fly. The only problem is my pitch isn't the best. I even have gyro assist for it, but oh, 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 God, that was close. That was very close, actually, but I am zooming around this map. I really like this build, guys. <laughs> and the way the rockets look, too, this just big orange glow of fire. It's also not bad for something I literally put together in about 30 minutes. Like, this is a very quick and easy build for me. The last thing I want to do is see if I can do a crazy stunt with this thing. I'm going to try and aim for a ring of fire. Maybe, you know what? I don't know if I can fit through one. Can we fit through one? <laughs> Oops. You know what? I've got an even cooler idea. We're going to fly through the aircraft carrier. I love doing that. All right, can we level this out? Come on, come on. Oh, no, it was so close. Damn it. Ah. Uh, oh, well, it was a good effort. <laughs> All right, well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Definitely let me know what you want to see me build next, whether it's on Trail Makers or Flyout. I'm really looking forward to seeing what you guys put in the comments. And whilst you're at it, guys, why not consider subscribing? It's free. But anyway, that's enough from me. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.